Hey everyone, this is Tony Reeves and this is another edition of Easy But Not So Easy. Tony Reeves, Tony Reeves, Tony Reeves, fire. Following the news in any way, shape, or form. Today, we're going to talk about code switching. What did we do? What will it bring? This is a reality we simply have to. Now, for those of you who may not know, code switching is this ability to basically change the mechanism manner by which you communicate with individuals based on this scenario that you're currently in. We do it all the time. I'm from the South. I'm a country boy. I'll be the first one to tell you that when I'm, when I'm in a particular area, it's not uncommon, especially in the South where some of my Southern friends can't pick up my accent. But if you put me in a particular environment, my accent comes out whether it be unconsciously or consciously. And the reason why is because I am switching my mechanism of how I am speaking to someone, i.e. code, so that this way the conversations and the communications will flow in a more fluid manner. Now, does that mean nobody can understand me and I can't be professional talking country? Not at all, because I've done it more than my fair share of time. My point is, is that code switching is easy because what it does is that it allows you to maneuver in different scenarios and situations and communicate to people in a particular way that either one, disarms them so they can engage with you, or two, gives you the ability to communicate in a manner that ensures there's no confusion about the mechanisms of what you're communicating. That is the easy part. Here, is the not so easy part. Code switching can be confusing to people. Meaning, if you're talking to someone and you are talking one way to them and they see you and that's the only way they've communicated with you, when they're with you in another environment and they see you switch, it may blow their mind. I've seen it, I've had friends of mine see it. I've seen it all the time. You wanna see a great example? Hang out, and I'm not talking about just changing language. I'm talking in terms of if you're speaking English and then you switch to Spanish. That's not code switching, at least the way I interpret it. I may be wrong, if I'm wrong, let me know. I'm talking about a situation where you're in a different environment and just the language bear in terms of how they're communicating is different. You wanna see a great example? Hang out with somebody who's West Indian. Jamaican, Bahamian, Crucian. Watch when they're around uh, an, an environment like this and I went to school with a lot of them where they're st close friends of mine and I've spent they've come with me and spent time with me in my neck of the woods and then I've gone and I've spent time with them when they have been around their people and I can tell you their mechanism how they speak the slang the vernacular how they communicate it switches out completely I get a kick out of it but for some people if they are not prepared to deal with that or it may just be something they've never seen before you can confuse the hell out of them because they've never seen you communicate like that so they're probably telling themselves which version is the real you both of them but the reality is, is that it confuses them because they've never seen this before you got to be careful sometimes because code switching sometimes doesn't work and the sometimes when I say it doesn't work is when the person who's code switching is code switching when they don't normally do that. Like I, the, the number of, and let me give you a great time, uh, great example. One of my friends told me, you know, African-American uh, sister who's an attorney said she had someone who was Caucasian persuasion came up to her and literally started communicating to her in a slang manner. Talking about what's going on, sister girl, what's popping? And the first thing she knew, she'd known him for a minute and he had never talked like that before. And so she told him, okay, do you normally talk like that? And he's like, no. Do you normally talk to me like that? Well, no. Do I normally talk to you like that? No. So why do you feel like that's appropriate now? Now, there are going to be some people going, oh, that's just hate, Reeves. No, 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 that's not what I'm saying. She didn't say he couldn't say that. That's not what she's saying. She's saying that in the course of our communication, we have switched so that I have spoken to you in a vernacular to let you know how I wish to be communicated with. Doing anything different than that potentially may offend someone. And so I say that to say it sometimes may not work, meaning if you go into a situation feeling like you have to speak in a particular manner, if you go into a situation believing you have to communicate in a particular way or in terms of code switching in order to be able to effectively communicate, you might cause yourself more problems. One, because you may not know if you're code switching correctly, and two, if there is this expectation based on prior experiences that you would present a certain way, if you switch in an effort to think that you're trying to provide a more comfortable environment, 
what may end up happening is you may end up creating more problems for yourself. Not trying to be funny. It's just that what happens is that if you're used to, if you've created a standard by which you communicate and then you decide to change up, you may cause more problems because you may tune out or turn or turn off your audience because that's not how they're expecting to communicate with you. Then there's a possibility you could be looked down upon. And you're like, what do you mean by looked down upon? Okay, so imagine a situation where people again, they're used to you communicating with them in a particular way. You've been communicating with them a particular way. And then all of a sudden you switch out and speak in a different way. They are now looking upon you to say, what, what is that saying about us that you feel that you cannot communicate the way you normally do, that you must consciously code switch in order to speak to us in a particular way? Now, don't get me wrong. Like I said, people, we code switch all the time. But sometimes what happens is that if it is an obvious code switch like you know if it's somebody who you know does not normally speak this particular vernacular and now they've switched out because they believe that they can be a more effective communicator by doing so that may not be looked upon because that person may say to themselves i can i can you are articulated just fine the way you are i'm able to understand and comprehend everything you're saying you don't need to switch out my friend bring it back and drop it down a bit all right I say all that to say that code switching can sometimes be a confusing endeavor, even though we do it all the time. When we go from one particular environment, trust me, even within your family, there's a way that you communicate with your loved ones that you don't communicate with your friends. There's ways that you communicate with your friends that you don't communicate when you're in the workplace. Am I saying any of those things are wrong? No. What I'm saying is that code switching and switching how you communicate with people in such a way to ensure that the conversation flows in a particular way is a necessary and natural thing that we do. Just be careful that when you're doing it, you don't put to yourself in a position or create a situation where doing so causes more confusion and even worse, animosity based on the way you're communicating under this perception that you think you have to communicate a particular way to a particular audience. Mm -hmm.